Christmas. From our Pathway family to you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas indeed. We hope that this is a wonderful time of year for you and your family. We are so grateful that over the last year we have built a relationship with you each and every week online through our Pathway services. Absolutely, and we are so grateful for you. Well, welcome to Pathway Church. I'm Jared Piney, your online pastor, and I'm joined by my good friend and online host, Amanda. Yes, welcome. We are so glad that you're here with us. We want to get to know you a little bit better. So in the chat, answer this question. What is one thing that you love about Christmas time? And Jared, while they're typing their answers, what is one thing you love about Christmas? That's a tough question because there's so much I love about Christmas, but I'd say one of the things that I love is just seeing the joy and the happiness on the face of my wife and our two girls as they just enjoy all the magical stuff about Christmas time. I can't wait to see what you put in the chat, but Amanda, what's one thing that you enjoy? I'm with you. The excitement on my kids' faces is probably one of the most exciting things to witness each year, but also I just love that Christmas really brings our family together and really points us back to Jesus during this time. Absolutely. Well, make sure you put your answers in the chat so we can read those and celebrate just how you enjoy Christmas time. Well, not only do we want to say welcome, but we want to give you a coffee from Starbucks on us if you're new to Pathway Church. Just text the word NEW to 316-444-4180. We will send you a digital gift card that you can use for your favorite coffee. And let me clarify, when we say new, we mean that this could be your first time watching, or it may mean that you have been watching the last several weeks or even months, but our online team hasn't had the chance to meet you yet. We would love to get to meet you, and that starts by you texting the word new to 316-444-4180. Send that text now, and we will reach out to you and send you that digital gift card. Yes, and we want to let you know that on December 26th and 27th, our message will be viewed online only. We will not have any in-person services that weekend at any of our campuses. But we want you to know that church isn't canceled. You will just have to join us online for a great message about faith. This message is called Faithfully Forward. The truth is, faith is more than belief. It's making room for God to work. So let's make room for God to do more than we could ever ask or imagine. Join us online December 26th and 27th for the message and invite a friend to watch with you. Well, the good news of Jesus and how he changes us is priceless. And yet often we forget all that God has done and is doing in the lives of people. We want to reflect today as we give on how much Jesus has made a difference in our lives. So if you're a follower of Jesus, think about this question. Where would you be if you hadn't become a follower of Jesus? I know when I reflect on Jesus, I'm reminded of his unfailing love and faithfulness. Listen to this verse in John. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. For we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. What would God have you give him this Christmas? It could be one day, one week, one month, or even one car. But what one gift will you bring to Jesus this Christmas? I want to encourage you to pray and seek God and how you may give this year as we head into the last week of 2020. Let's allow our generosity to flow out of a grateful heart because we've received the greatest gift in the world. Our message today is from our lead pastor, Todd Carter, as we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's sing the song Glory together and then open up our hearts and ears to a great message before closing out the service, singing Silent Night.
Anyone who has ever been surrounded by the darkness understands the need for light. Light that brings clarity to the confusion and the pain of bumping around in the dark. Light that brings rescue from oppression and light that brings relief from a long tunnel of suffering. Light, the promise of Christmas to a world lost in darkness. The story of Christmas actually begins when the world was dark and formless. It was out of this darkness God called forth light. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light for all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The light of all mankind, our promise of rescue, broke into the world in the form of a baby born in a manger. But the story of Christmas does not end at the manger. It's only the beginning of God's rescue plan for those of us lost in the darkness. Because the baby king grew into a man who claimed his light would give us life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This life, the life of Jesus, is the light of the world, the light we all need to rescue us, because the truth is, we really don't know how lost we are until the lights go out. Welcome to Christmas at Pathway. I'm Todd Carter and I'm the lead pastor here. Now I'm here today in the strangest place that I've ever celebrated Christmas. But the reason I'm here is because oftentimes there are things in the physical realm that mirror what's going on in the spiritual realm. In the world around us over the last year, there have been so many things pressing down on us. The COVID-19 crisis, the racial unrest, the political division that we've all experienced. These have been all huge pressures on us. And at Christmas time, we know that it's supposed to be a time of joy and a family. But our hearts right now, they feel so restricted. We feel this massive pressure pushing down on us, giving us a sense that we're not in a good place, that we need help. But believe it or not, feeling this way and wanting out of this place is exactly what Christmas is all about. Now, hiking through mines is not my normal pastime. But being down here started me thinking. If it began to rain real hard outside, I would never know it was happening. And at some point, all of the water could come rushing down here. And if a sudden rush of water filled these caves, I would have nowhere to go. I'd be stuck and I'd be in trouble. You see, there's just a level of fear from being down here 650 feet below ground. I've got to tell you, it's just a little bit unsettling. Because if things go wrong, it would get complicated really fast. And over this last year, because the way things have unfolded, there's more and more of a sense that any moment something could go wrong and we'd be trapped. Trapped in the darkness. You might not know it, but this is exactly what was going on with the people of Israel when Jesus was born. 
They were under a lot of oppression from the Roman military. And they were under a lot of oppression from the religious leaders, the Pharisees of the day. It was just a dark time for the majority of the people in Israel. But the good news is, when Jesus was born, light pierced the darkness, and it came into the world. You know, in John chapter 8, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You see, Jesus is the light who came to give us direction for our lives. He came to be a reference point, to be able to guide our lives. The darkness, it may try to incarcerate us, but the light, it liberates us and sets us free. You know, in fact, the Apostle John said, if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. So know, in the darkest moments of your life, Jesus' light can guide you, it can encourage you, and it can set you free. You see, these are actually the gifts we received when Jesus was born at Christmas time. And we can celebrate them today, even in the depths of the darkness of this earth. You know, we celebrate the birth of Jesus not only because of what he gives to us, but also what he does for us. Now, when Jesus was born into the world, there was a group of shepherds that were tending their flocks that night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. And so you have to ask yourself, why would they need a Savior? Well, a savior is another word for rescuer. You know, the situation that I described to you earlier of the water rising and being trapped is exactly what happened in Thailand just a couple of years ago. Twelve boys who were soccer teammates decided to go on a day hike down into a cave, and everything looked fine as they descended into that cave. But unexpectedly, it started raining outside, and that water rushed down into that cave, and the water rose so fast that the boys found themselves trapped in a small outcropping inside of that cave. So the authorities sent in a highly trained rescue and scuba diver by the name of Saman Gunan. He took oxygen bottles to the boys stranded in that cave. And he also, he went and he tied up ropes for guidance from the boys' position inside of the cave to the outside entrance. And as Salmon made his way back outside of that cave, it was unfortunately more than he could handle and he was tragically killed. You see, he gave his life for those boys, but it was his sacrifice that made it possible for those boys to escape from that cave that day. And that's exactly the reason why the angels said to the shepherds, for unto you is born a savior. He is Christ the Lord. This is the story of Christmas. Jesus was born into the cave of this world in order to rescue us from certain death. You know, no matter how weak or how strong you might feel right now, we all need a rescuer. We all need a a savior. We're in a perilous situation. We need someone from the outside to come and to be able to lead us out. And when Jesus was born, the angel said to Joseph, 
You will call his name Jesus and he will save the world from all of their sins. You see, Jesus came into the world and he did what only he can do to rescue us from certain death because of the sin that we found ourselves in. Only Jesus, the light of the world, can lead you out of whatever dark situation you might find yourself in. So know this Christmas that Jesus, the rescuer, has come for you. He cares about you. And he wants to lead you out. And I want to give you an opportunity right now for that to happen. And so I want to invite you, wherever that you're at, whether you're in your living room or your bedroom, or maybe you're just somewhere watching your phone right now, just to be able to bow your head, and close your eyes with me just for a moment. And I just want to spend just a little bit of time talking to God right now in prayer. And as we begin to pray, I, I know there are many of you watching right now. You found yourself in a dark situation. It could be because of this pandemic that we've been living through. Or it could be because of some other situation going on in your life. But it's dark and you can't find your way out. And so I want to say to you, Jesus is the light. And he can easily pierce whatever dark situation that you might find yourself in right now. He wants to be that lamp to your feet, that light for your path. And so today, if you want to be rescued and you want to escape whatever darkness you're in, I want to invite you this Christmas to make Jesus Christ the leader and the savior of your life. So don't miss this opportunity to be rescued and experience Christmas like you've never experienced it before. Pray this prayer with me right now. Oh, Lord Jesus, I know I've made mistakes, that I'm a sinner, and I've found myself lost and in the dark but today, Jesus, I choose you, the light, to be the leader and the savior of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into this world at Christmas time. And now use my life, Jesus, to be able to go and share your light and your love with other people. And it's in your name that I pray. Amen. Christmas is about the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christmas is about the good news that Jesus brought to each and every one of us. If you made the decision to follow Jesus today, then we are so excited for you. What an awesome decision. We want to walk alongside you as you begin the journey of following Jesus. Just go to the website below to sign up for our next experience, and we will come alongside you to help you build a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. Also, if you're new to Pathway Church, whether this is your first time watching or you've been with us for the last several weeks, but we haven't had the opportunity to meet you, then we want to welcome you to Pathway and give you a free coffee on us. That's right, no matter where you live, just text the word NEW, N-E-W, to 316-444-4180, and we will send you a digital gift card to Starbucks and reach out to welcome you to Pathway Church. You know, I will never forget Christmas in 2019. You see, my wife and I invited some friends to our Christmas service, and they said yes, and they brought their lovely family to service, and their lives were changed forever. They are now a part of our home team, and I've seen God do amazing works in their lives this past year. You see, God is one step away, and we just need to invite people to experience Him. I would encourage you to copy this service web link or share the Facebook service to send it to a friend who needs to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Invite them to watch the service and then pray that God would reach them. 
Well, make sure you join us this weekend for our online-only message called Faithfully Forward. Remember, we will not be having any in-person services this weekend. There is something about the darkness that can be frightening, right? It is the unknown that scares us. For many of us, 2020 has felt like we have been stumbling through the dark, through the unknown, and it is frightening. The good news for you and me is we have a light to show us the way. We have Jesus Christ. John 12, 46 says this, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. You see, God wants to bring you out of the darkness and into the light. Remember that this Christmas season. Now, Pathway tradition is to light a candle and sing the song Silent Night together. You may not have a candle at home, but allow God to speak to you through this song as we allow His light to give us hope, to give us life, and to give us love in a world of darkness. Jesus, Lord.